How do you deal with depression? So this is two Oakland artists, two Oakland rap artists. Uh, anybody from Oakland probably familiar with these two rap artists, but anybody not from Oakland probably aren't familiar with them. Um, one is Little Blood from West Oakland, a neighborhood called Dogtown. Um, another one is Project Papa um, from a neighborhood called Deville in East Oakland. And um, yeah, they just have a discussion about, um, well, discussion about a lot of different things. He was interviewing them, but this particular portion of the interview was about mental health. Um, he just asked them, you know, how do you deal with depression? So let's check out, yeah, let's check out how Project Papa answered. And Project Papa, you know, he, he generation below me, so he's a little younger, uh, but blood comes from my generation. So, you know, he's a little older, hence, you know, you know, him, the type of questions he's asking, you can tell, you know, some years behind that. Uh, but yeah, let's jump back into it. Man, I don't lie. That shit be fake hard because I ain't a person who talk to other people about my problems, but everybody come to me about their problems. You feel me? So that shit be kind of... I can't even think of a person who I just automatically just be like, I call them about my problems. It had to be like in a spare the moment type of... You feel me? Right, right, type right. shit. So I don't know. That shit just be kind of just build up. Right, really. Right. And see, what he's saying is really, I would say, the standard for a lot of us growing up um, in our communities, in African-American communities, particularly in Oakland, where I grew up, you know, we don't, we didn't really have um, the message of mental health, right? Really, that's, that's something that's relatively new that's even been introduced into our community, right? Um, but we didn't really have, excuse me, that mental health education growing up to even know what that was, to be honest with you. Um, from a verbal standpoint, like literally knowing what that meant, um, to, to, you know, to figuratively in terms of going in and seeing somebody and even know what that experience is like. So, um, what he's saying is, is, you know, is, it is doesn't, you know, it's hard for me to listen to, um, in the sense that, um, I, I'm here to make people feel like they do have somebody to talk to, right? And that somebody like him could talk to somebody like me and feel comfortable and knowing that he doesn't necessarily have to go to, you know, um, somebody like, you know, a white woman, for instance, um, who, you know, uh, typically there's a lot of therapists who are white women and a lot of sometimes black people don't feel comfortable um, going to a white woman in therapy. So, you know, I'm here to kind of make my people feel like, you know, you have another option. Uh, but at the same hand, I know what he's saying is true um, because I grew up the same way, right? And a lot of times it just builds up and it builds up, like he says. So, um, you really just talking, you just keeping it real. I don't really talk to nobody about nothing. Do you think that's healthy though, bro? Nah. Hell no, nah. cause that type of shit is how you thinking too much, cause you ain't talking to nobody. You kind of talking to your damn self. Right. So that kind of shit cause like strokes and stress and all that shit like that. Right, right. But I I know what's going on, so that's what kind of help. Like I'm not blind to this shit. Like a motherfucker be stressing themselves out, not even knowing, bro. You about to have a fucking stroke. Right, cause they don't know. Right. I know what the fuck can happen. You feel me? So I know when it's time to. I make sure I go to the hospital. Hey, as as we just say coming up, <laughs> oh mamas, yeah, nah, but for sure though, what he's saying is a hundred percent correct. Um, you know, he, 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 you definitely just, you know, he, people. We could have strokes. We could have um, all kinds of stress related disorders, right? Due to stressing and just not having an outlet for being able to process certain traumas we go through. Sometimes we can store that trauma in our body. Now, sometimes, all the time. So, um, yeah, you know, he just, he at this point, he just kicking game. Everything he's saying is true, in my, you know, my my opinion. You know, I went recently, you feel me? My chest was hurting and a little shit like that. I made sure I went, you know. I told certain people, and they stayed on me about it, nigga, go. Like, you need to go. Like, before I went to L.A., I had told somebody something was going on. They're like, bro, before you go, you need to. You need to go handle that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't go, but I'm gonna go. What's up? And don't get me wrong. That's cool that when he starts to feel anxiety, because that's what he's describing, um, which is you know that, that that's interesting. Because a lot of times when you're talking to um, like immigrant populations or populations that have origins outside of America, right? AKA populations outside of white people. I hate using the term PLC, so work with me. Um, a lot of times we'll describe our symptoms using like bodily symptoms. We'll describe our mental health symptoms using things that we're feeling in our body. You know what I mean? Um, so like my grandma, for instance, she might say 
that her heart is jumping instead of saying that she's having heart palpitations, that her heart is racing. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that she having anxiety. So it's kind of what I just see right there with Pop, where you say, man, you know, when my chest gets tight, I know it's time to go to the hospital. That's him experiencing anxiety, probably a panic attack. And going to the hospital is cool. You know, they might give you a Xanny or, you know, whatever else, you know, Ativan help calm you down, send you home. But a better option, though, is just to have ongoing therapy. Right, and have somebody to talk to on an ongoing basis and developing skills so that you don't get to that place where you feel like you have to run to the emergency room um, every so often, you know? Um, but just the fact that, you know, Pop got this level of game, you know, don't surprise me, he come from the town, you know? But um, yeah, just the fact that he got this level of game and insight at such a young age, though, speaks volumes about him. For real, for real. And the fact that Blood would even ask these kind of questions why I love watching Blood podcasts. But anyway, yeah, man, check it out. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you.